Governor of New York is calling the attack in that state domestic terrorism. As CBS 2's Laura Podesta reports, police quickly found the suspect and fears of anti-Semitism are rising. I have three patients right now down, heavy bleeding. I need multiple ambulances, please, at least four to five. New York City police arrested Grafton Thomas early Sunday after he drove across the George Washington Bridge. He's the primary suspect in the Saturday night stabbing attack on a gathering of people lighting Hanukkah candles at the home of a rabbi in the largely ultra-Orthodox Jewish suburb of Munzee. 37-year-old Thomas was arraigned Sunday in Rockland County, pleading not guilty to five counts of attempted murder and one count of burglary. Authorities say Thomas stormed into the house with a large knife. I asked who was coming in in the middle of the night with an umbrella. While I was saying that, he pulled it out from the tank and he started to run into the big room, which was on the left side. And, and I throw him tables and chairs that he should get out of here. Governor Andrew Cuomo said New York has seen more than a dozen anti-Semitic incidents since early December. This is terrorism. It is domestic terrorism. In a letter Sunday, Orthodox Jewish elected officials urged Cuomo to declare a state of emergency. Jewish communities in and around New York City have been on edge since a deadly shooting rampage at a kosher market in Jersey City earlier this month. After last night's bloodshed, the Hanukkah event continued in a display of strength and faith. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. Bail for Grafton Thomas was set at $5 million and he's in jail tonight. Thomas is scheduled to be back in court on Friday.